Hello everybody, Cappy here. This is not a video request, but this is a very important video because it is about the number one thing on the news that I have seen I cannot avoid, and that is Bruce Jenner. Okay? I, <laughs> I, I just wanted to go visit some family and friends in Wisconsin. I was driving through the middle of freaking nowhere, Wisconsin. And even then, I could not avoid to know that something was going on with Bruce Jenner. He's on the TV in the middle of nowhere at the Wisconsin truck stop. He's at the Perkins, not personally, but on the TV again. And, and he's on my, oh, you log out of Yahoo Mail, and there it is. Oh, Yahoo News, oh my God, the most important source of news ever. And Bruce Jenner, something's happening. I don't even know what's happening with Bruce Jenner. I didn't pay attention. And the reason why is, is I think, a reason most people, you and I, and people like us, is because it doesn't fucking matter. We're, it, your initial reaction, if it was like mine, was like, oh, the fuck gets this shit? What the fuck is this? Why is this so fucking important? I don't give two shits about Bruce Jenner. He can fucking cut his dick off and shove it back up his ass, call himself a Who the fuck? It? But, but, like me, young aspiring uh, official, deputy, uh, official, and otherwise economist, you must learn to breathe in. Breathe out, step back, and assess and analyze the situation for what it truly is. Okay. Your anger is not with Bruce Jenner. Okay. Actually, Bruce Jenner is, is quite innocent. It's just Bruce Jenner. He's got media people following him around. It, it's like, well, what, what do I care? I mean, truthfully, fine, go ahead. I, I don't care what he does. I, I hope he's happy. If he's happy, cool. What do I care? And your anger is not even necessarily with the media for throwing this shit in your face. Your real anger, your underlying anger, and your frustration, why we gotta watch this ultimately irrelevant, fucking pathetic bullshit <clears throat> be the number one thing on TV and all media types account, is that it is a reflection upon a increasing, and I would say majority, of the American population. And you're very frustrated and pissed off that they're so fucking stupid. All right, look at it this way, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Do you think the media is going to cover him? Do you think everyone has covered Bruce Jenner? Do you think people and, and media organizations and companies, these multi-trillion dollar, multinational, billion dollar, not trillion, billion dollar corporations are throwing all these resources covering Bruce Jenner? You know why they do that? It's the same reason companies go out to the Bakken oil field and drills holes in there to get the oil. Because people demand it. People pay for it. People actually want to know what's going on with Bruce Jenner. And <clears throat> to those of us that have more than, than five brain cells in our skulls, who know that this ultimately does not matter and is a stupid waste of everybody's time, uh, you, you can see the futility and the, uh, and the pointlessness of it. But what really angers you, what really angers us, is that there's so many fucking other stupid people amongst our midst that pay to make this the fucking number one news story of I don't, God Almighty. I hope it's not the news story for the week. It's been the weekend. It's 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 the number one story for the weekend. Right? So don't get angry at Bruce Jenner. Certainly not. Don't even get mad at the media. Think of it as your average grocery checkout line. Do you see issues of the Economist or Reason Magazine or the Wall Street Journal there? No. You see people, Vogue. What else they got? Us. Them, we, all those other shitbag things, why do they have those and not the ones I previously mentioned? Because there are more stupid people in the world. And I'm terribly sorry, people who read people and all that and don't read The Economist. You are less intelligent than people that read Reason Magazine. You are fucking stupid. And you're largely the reason this country is going to hell in a handbasket and has all the problems it does. And I don't say that as some evil trad clown or some kind of, you know, ooh, just angry white male. I say it. As an economist who looks at data and looks at the... Re and even some of you, when we do polls, you say, America's not going in the right direction. But you're all too fucking lazy and stupid to look up and figure out why. Because you're too busy, you know, obsessing and tweeting about Kim Kardashian's ass. And I think the real frustration that, for those of us who have five plus brain cells and IQ is above 100, <clears throat> is that... Because this is a democracy, we get to suffer the stupidity. This country is being led by the majority, <laughs> which is morons who vote and put these dipshits into fucking office. 
I mean, is it really any shock that we have a, a, a debt to GDP of 100% in its peacetime? I know for those of you who, who are obsessed with Bruce Jenner, I'm not going to explain 100% or GDP. Those three concepts are way too advanced for your brain to comprehend, let alone put them together and say, what does that mean? He speaks a foreign language. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, we're upset that, that these people ultimately determine the fate of this country, and that in turn determines how successful we are going to do. So if you want to get angry about Bruce Jenner, let us really get to the heart and make a real genuine criticism. For all of you watching the Bruce Jenner shit going on TV right now, for all of you tweeting about it, living vicariously through it, giving it one motherfucking cent a second of your life's attention, fuck you. You fucking people are the problem. You're a bunch of fucking inferior fucks. You sh I mean, seriously, if it keeps going on, you'll like become like the monkeys. You'll like turn into your own inferior subspecies while we'll become superhumans or something like that. You, you really are that dumb. <clears throat> you really are the problem of everything with the world. And what's, what's even more insulting is most of you probably do have the raw intelligence to become smarter or not even smart, just to become educated like you're already smart, but you choose because you're so fucking culturally stupid, you're so fucking lazy, you haven't thought outside the box, you haven't read a goddamn book, you haven't thought about philosophy, you'd rather pay attention to what fucking Conway, Con, Kanye West or fucking Jay-Z or the fucking Grammys or the Whammies or the Bammies and Bruce Jenner and all this other fucking shit. You'd rather pay attention to that than Federal Reserve policy, the concept of a central bank, technology, water shortages in California, all these really important things that actually do have an effect on your life. And oh, oh, let's not forget all you sports guys. Hey, you know, the hockey, the playoffs, the hockey playoffs, you know, they're, they're, they're trying to hit a thing that looks like this into a net, see? And it's very important that that one guy's with the funny sticks hit this thing into a net, then the other guy with the other funny sticks hit this thing into that. Well, the, the funny sticks are the same. It is the color of the cloth. The cloth is even the same. It's the color and pattern of the cloth with the numbers and the letters on the back that determines very important shit in life when, you know, who hits this thing into the net or that thing into the net. Anyway, <clears throat> from those of us who actually give a shit about the country, give a shit about society, carry the society along, and actually are the future, that are the ones that have the potential to bring about a better future in America, fuck all of you. Worthless, degenerate, genuinely worthless pieces of scum. You, you worthless, pointless, lifeless humans. Go watch your Bruce Jenner. Go, go watch your Kim Kardashians. And, and for me personally, because I've given up on the future of the country, please go breed so that I'm, you're too stupid to pay a price now because you're unaware of it. But when your children get to live in the filth and the crap and the shitty ass country you've left them because you were too damn stupid to know the difference between a billion and a trillion, well, then maybe you'll pay a price. And then maybe when your children can't find jobs and they're living at home with you at the age of 40, Maybe you'll make the connection, but I doubt it because I'm sure People Magazine will still be in publication then. Toodles.